Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Carson Gall. I'm a food photographer and stylist. Today I'm going to be taking you through the eight essential props that I think are necessary for taking your food photography from that maybe beginner stage up to the next level. These eight props are in no particular order. I love all of them and I use all of them a lot in my pictures. Um, they're all staples that I've come to use and come to rely on in a lot of my food photography. So the first prop that I think is absolutely essential in any photographer's collection is just a basic serving platter. I use a just plain white serving platter and I use it for anything from savory foods to desserts and I just got mine for like three dollars at a local thrift store. I go there all the time looking for props because they're always super cheap and they're always super affordable and usually pretty good quality and condition. And it's just one of those pieces that you can really use in any kind of shoot that you're doing, whether it's a personal shoot or a shoot for a client. And the plain white color just kind of goes with any scene that you're looking uh, to set, whether that's a dark and moody one or a light and airy scene, it's always going to go and it's always going to fit in there. The second prop that I really think any photographer should have in their collection is just a big simple white plate. Mine that I have and that I use most often has this blue trim on the outside and I got it from Hobby Lobby for like 10 or $12. I have a lot more white plates in my kitchen now but this is the one that I usually go to the most just because it adds a little something with that blue lining around the edge and it just goes with again most scenes that I like to set up and have going on in my pictures. Along with having a big white plate in your collection I think it's also necessary to have a big black plate just to have that contrast and just to have that other option if the scene maybe doesn't suit the brightness that the white plate brings in. The plate that I use most often is this one from Target. This one was again maybe 10 to 12 dollars and it's got a lot of texture on there and it's very matte so that's always good and it always photographs well. And it's also got a bit of a rim if you can see there and that just makes it so much more interesting beyond just like the regular standard flat plate. I had to share my other favorite black plate that I use as well. This one's a bit smaller but it's also from Target and it's very matte as well and it's got a nice ribbing along the sides here and so I use this one a lot as well. I often use this one with the bigger black plate that I have because they usually go very well together in a shoot that I have that needs both of them. Another prop that I've come to use more and more in my photography is just random spices that are in the food that I'm taking a picture of. For example, I have just some cinnamon sticks, I have some star anise, and it just usually goes very well and always complements the food super well and lets the client know or the audience know this is what's in the food and this is why it's in here and that's why it's here complementing the rest of the picture and they are always so much more interesting to look at than just like some powdered cinnamon on the top or just some other kind of boring ways to show off that food. It just adds a bit of extra emphasis on the food itself and the beauty of the food which is why we take pictures of it in the first place. The spices that I use I got from Amazon and it just came in a big pack of about five or six of them and they were super cheap and I just went on and found the mix that I liked and that I thought I would use the most and I have used it for a long time now and it's helped me out in a lot of different shoots. Another prop that I use quite often is just little ingredient bowls. These ones that I have are from Costco. I got some lava cake desserts and they came in these little ceramic bowls and they were dishwasher safe and microwave safe so I thought they'd be a perfect addition to my collection and I use them all the time. I also have a more decorative little ingredient bowl that I got from another thrift store here. This one was maybe a dollar to a dollar fifty. I use this one for those prettier shoots that are more light and airy and that kind of suit this vibe a bit more than like maybe this one whereas this fits maybe just a dark and moody shoot a bit better or something a bit more rustic. You just want to have options when it comes to these kind of things so you don't want to be stuck with this one when you're looking for a light and airy shoot when you could have something nice and pretty like this that's a bit more delicate and it fits the scene a bit more. Another prop that I've come to use a lot more often is just standard milk bottles. I usually like to have about two or three of them um, just because you can add whatever you'd like and it just can fill the background of the picture very well as well as being just the subject of the image itself. I got these ones as a gift but I believe they were from Amazon and they came in a pack of six and I use them quite often. They come with straws as well so you can have your classic milk and cookie shoot with it or you can just put any little random thing in it as well. I use it as flower vases. 
I've used it to hold granola for a shoot and have that be the center of the picture. Um, they're just very versatile and I really, really love having them. Another prop that I use quite often in my pictures, and you can probably go back and see all of the different times I've used it, it's probably about every other picture, is just a nice big chopping board. I have this one, which is a half marble and just half wood chopping board from Costco and it has made an appearance in the majority of my shoots, to be honest. I got it just at the start of the year, but it has been in a lot of my pictures since, and I really don't think I can ever go back to not using it in at least every other shoot. The last prop I'm gonna share with you guys that I think really elevates a food photographer's images quite easily is just some standard newspaper. I just got this from a friend and it has been a lifesaver. I've used it in so many pictures and it just adds a bit more interest in the image and it just kind of helps draw your eye to the subject and create those leading lines without having to have a million different props all over the place. I think it's perfect for minimalist shoots as well as those pictures that are a bit more busy and have a bit more going on just because it's a nice filler and it creates a lot of interesting lines and textures for our viewers as well. So that is it for today's video guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and I I hope that it's led you to know what kind of props to be on the hunt for when you go out maybe to your next thrift store, to Costco, Target, all those sorts of places. And I hope that you're able to elevate your food photography with me. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.